Big day today. Mike, I need you. Sean, yep. keep doing what you do with the with the thingy and the okay? All right, Sparky. What's All right. Happening? I have a surprise for you. Are you ready to see it? I think we found what, what is it? The <laughs> most daily driven exotic Porsche of all time. Yes. We know you like Porsches. Yes. Everybody on the channel is like, you guys gotta buy Michael a Porsche. Yep. Well, this might be the Porsche for you. It's very much because 911, well half of it. <laughs> and it's very much crazy. And it's very much for a little jockey race car person like you. I, everything you just said makes me really excited. This car is absolutely insane. In fact, when I saw it, it blew my mind. And it also reminded me of that crazy project we talked about where we were thinking about making our own tube chassis version of the Porsche GT1 LM car. Yeah. So behind this gate, right here, we have a truck and trailer. In fact, I can see the tires. And Nikita, the owner, along with, I believe, a partner of his, but I think only Nikita's here, right, Nate? Yes. Yeah, so let's get him in here. Let's, you got it? I, I got this one. No, oh, no, 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 how long till that's done? Should be able to. All right. I'm still that waiting. Was, that was to easy. To figure out what this has been like that 15 minutes to get the gate open. How's it going? Uh, good. Damon. Nikita. Nice to meet you, Nikita. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And this Michael. is Michael. How you doing, man? FD nice to meet you. FD Champ. Yes. FD <laughs> Champ. So you got something special in here. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll find out. You wanna come in the back and park it in the back? Let's do we'll it. We'll get you out of the way of like all the chaos that's going on. Should we just do it in the back? <laughs> come on. Dude, dude, dude this dude. suspense is I, killing me. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I promise you, if there's ever been a more DDE Porsche, I would love to see it. I don't think it exists. I really truly believe what's in the trailer here is as crazy as we are, which is why I feel like we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> you wanna do karate in the garage or anything? I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I gotta ruin it. It's a Macan GTS, Mike. We love you. <laughs> Damn, <Yeah. laughs> number two. <laughs> Surprise us. Show us your beautiful, beautiful car you have hidden in this trailer. Right. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> It is called the Half 11. And explain to me why it's called the Half 11. Started with a 911 chassis and yeah, started trimming and- uh, Started trimming? Ended up with half of a 1970s Can-Am racer and half 911. Damn! So yeah, what's the technique here? Uh, you kind of pretend you're uh, Steve McQueen sliding into a 917, sit on the shoulder and you go. It's a full experience, that's so sick. I see why he looked at me and went, just so you know, you're not gonna fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's tight in there. Holy yeah. crap. I wanna hear this thing. Clear prop. Yep. Ready for this? Let's go. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything more Daily Ruin Exotics than this thing? Page right out of my own heart, the guy's livery is satin black, neon orange, and white. Does that remind you of someone's SVJ livery? How crazy. What do you think? Right out of the box, all of the sheet metal work is so sick, because that's all handmade bodywork. How much more unique can you get than a hand-built body? It's so cool. There's some really interesting stuff that they got going on behind all of this. If you want, check them out on Instagram. It's Oil Stain Lab on the gram. Give them a follow. Show them some of that DD love. Look at this. Look how tight it is. Oh, a shifter. What's the shifter out of? It's like a page out of uh, the CGT, right? 917. 917, yeah, yeah. way back when. Well, what tires are you running on this? What are these? They're uh, an, uh, a historic Avon slick racing tire. So similar to what they would have raced back in the 70s, they're bias fly. Well, sounds safe. <laughs> do you see something you've never seen before anymore on the internet? Like I've seen some especially on the dark web. This is <laughs> wild, bro. What is this? It's our uh, very modern chin spoiler. All the downforce. <laughs> nice. All the downforce. <laughs> Underneath it, we've got steel plates, uh, tungsten to throw sparks Nice for photo shoots. That's, That's what right. you can use, tungsten? Tungsten or titanium. Put, we should put tungsten under our cars. Yeah. You want any help putting this on? I will, yeah. Okay. 
Hold on, does your sticker on the corner say clean cars, dirty money? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're gonna fit right in. I like his version of mirrors. Good luck. Yeah. What are these from? Did you make these? That is the world's most aerodynamic door mirror. For real? For real. They sell them for like formula cars. There's so no way a, you can see that mirror from the driver's side. Nate, <laughs> take the camera, take <laughs> the audience, <laughs> and look from the driver's perspective and look through <laughs> at that mirror. Can you see that mirror? Can you see this mirror? Barely, yeah. It's like we drove it like, yeah, 3,200 miles from LA to New York in the summer. You what? Yeah, there's, there's a video, it'll come out he at some point. He drove <laughs> LA. To New York in this. No, you didn't. Yeah. 30, like this? 3,200 yeah. miles. If if that's luggage. not daily driven, you don't know what is. <laughs> luggage. And, and so, yeah. First of all, that'd be torture. Luggage. <laughs> luggage. Well, we have the support vehicle. Ah, uh, you went halfway. It's all good. <laughs> okay, listen, this thing's really low. Your safety is the utmost of my importance. So, uh, I'm gonna follow behind you. And the Hummer H1. So if anyone tries to, you know, switch lanes or what, I'll drive them off the road. Actually, just for fun, Mike, do you want to jump in it and pull it up next to the half 11? Yeah, get a little size comparison. I want to show them how low it is based on 40 inch tire. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at the tire. Back up for a sec. The tire's bigger than the car. Yeah, stop, stop right there. Holy shit! The tire is hard on the roof line. Mike, like a pro! Dude, Dude this is sick! Sweet! After your test drive, I'm gonna try to see if I can buy it off of it. Do you guys like that? Spot this for Mike? Try and move him up a little bit. Get some dirt on him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, black bribe. Yeah, 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 bribe. Yeah. Black <laughs> We're not bribing <we're> <laughs> anybody. Turn it the dirty way. Dude, sitting in here, imagining what it would have been like to race in the 70s in oh something like this. Oh my god, it's scary as f***. A cigarette so, in your mouth. Oh, open face yeah, helmet. Open face helmet, just <laughs> dirt and crap flying your face. <laughs> We're about to find out what it's like <laughs> down the 710 freeway. Get in there. Let's fire this thing up. It really is a race car on the street and not a modern race car, an old school race car. You feel everything. Every pedal is hard, the throttle, the clutch, the brakes, the steering. It requires so much from the driver. It doesn't drive itself at all. Like you have to stay on top of this thing the entire time, which makes it so much fun to drive. It is 100% raw and I love it. <laughs> you know in the Senna, right? You yeah. feel everything. Yeah. This is 10 times that. Oh my Dude, gosh. The rocks, like, because it's all aluminum panels and stuff, the rocks, when they hit that, like there is no insulation, right? How did you drive this to New York? He has a lot of mechanical sympathy. I'll say that. Yeah. And and we built it and so we, we kind of, we're, we're used to it and yeah, those noises, they're not gonna hurt it, so. Yeah, yeah. It's just part, it's part of the experience. Holy crap. Well, watching this thing drive down the road is probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen, yeah. ever on the road. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, like, as far as cars that I've driven on the street, this has got to be the craziest thing. This right? thing is wild. Yes. 
So, because race car, you think? Oh, dude, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this started as a, like you said, a home-based project. And then now you guys are in a situation where you're actually gonna start building cars. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it all started in my parents' backyard after a few beers. That's how it all starts. <laughs> and it's ended up uh, basically us developing kind of the, the next iteration of this. Currently going through a lot of FEA analysis on the structures, uh, on the carbon tub and stuff, and then- uh, Oh, it's a carbon tub car. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so they're doing, so they're getting, uh, this is gonna be a real, the real deal. This is gonna stay like the raw one-off car and you're gonna build something that's similar, but something that's more of a production-based style, but still hand-built. Yeah, a little bit more sophisticated. Like it'll have doors, it'll have air conditioning, it'll have some of those luxury features. Yeah. It won't be a luxury car, but. Well, thank you so much yeah, for awesome. bringing it out here. You know, I wanted something to inspire Mike <laughs> for what could be potentially his first DD style Porsche. So, can we buy this off you or are you gonna keep it? No, this one's this one's ours forever. Not yeah, for sale. This one's not for sale. But we can talk about the next car coming? The next one, yeah. Not yeah. sold out yet? Not sold out yet. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Of it was course. a pleasure having you. It was, fun it, to see, you. it was fun to see Mike in something that uh, he was pretty tame in this thing. He's just <laughs> it, like, oh, it oh. wants to go. Like, oh, you it can really hear wants it. To go. But uh, yeah, knowing just understanding how much time they put into this, right? And it's not like, it's not a car where, you know, like if I was driving your, your Senna, right? And I hit something and it damaged it. Yeah, it would cost a shitload of money, but you can buy the parts, right? Yeah. This thing, you, you have to make every single part by hand. So it's not like, oh, hey, yeah. just, you know, bite the bullet, insurance is gonna cover it. No. Well, thanks for uh, coming out to the block. That was a pleasure. Hope to have you back and we can't wait to see what you build next after this thing, stay tuned. Okay, so the Porsche was insane. Now listen, that's a prototype he is making. In the meantime, I wanted to show Mike what is possible with a Porsche 911, and that is at the extreme DD level. Now, Mike has a friend over. His name's Dimitri. He's a pro driver in Formula D, and he brought his pro drift car. Dude, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Chilling. Welcome to the DDHQ. Welcome to the block. Thank you. So this is Dimitri Brutsky. He's owned uh, two of my cars now. Yeah. And then we built this three. car for him. Third. Oh. Third, one, yeah. Third, right? This wasn't but okay. So he's got three cars now. That you need to get someone else to build your cars for you because you have a tail light out. Uh, that's my part. <laughs> I got a couple of spares. It's user user error. Yeah. User, yeah. user <laughs> error. Not only he built my cars, he built the driver, so oh, that's right. Yeah. Right here. I got kind of mad at you guys, you stole my guy. <laughs> <laughs> that we did. I mean since you got your car here. And I've got a car. I feel like tandems. I asked him on the block. I, I asked him to do the up, first tandem. Years and years. That's why I started drifting. Yes. I can tandem with you. So let's go. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go. go. First go. tandems with pro drivers here at the block. I hope you guys are ready for this. It's about to get crazy. Look at this. Now the other cool thing is Dimitri will also be coming out to the LZ World Tour along with myself and Mike. So we're gonna have a whole crew at the LZ World Tour. Make sure you guys go and get your tickets, you know, register your car for the car show, come on out, hang out with us. We're gonna have an absolute blast. It's basically like the block, just on a larger scale. So come out, play with us, it'll be a great time. Oh, it's gonna be a blast. Light it up, up. boom! Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You ready? Okay. You guys are good with the Hummer there? We can move it. You're good. Yeah? I hesitated. I heard that hesitation. They're like, we'll probably do the tandem and then we'll come and turn around. Because two cars flying this way and trying to do like 180s yeah. Yeah. with all this. Yeah. Move the Hummer. Move the Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> that beast of a Hummer H1, man. Look at this. Nothing quite like the Hummer. Oh, here we go. of our building or ducking and diving. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna give Dimitri a little uh, a sight lap so you kind of see. That's right, the sight lap. Where we're going. You watch or you want to jump in with me? Um, I'll jump in. Oh. All right, Dimitri, we're rooting for you. I want to see that other light on the wall. Yes. Yeah. Take out the other light. Take it out. <laughs> the pumps are crazy. 
crazy. I know, right? That's so crazy. sick. Dude, wait till we're doing this at 2599. One more time, and then after that, you probably should go home. Then yeah. All right. All right. One more time, bro. Oh, crazy! That's crazy, right? They're so close to each other, and seeing it in a small area like that. Uh oh. So, oh yeah. So remember how he said that I taught him? Yeah. Well, he I'll gets he gets the wall taps he just smashed. like oh yeah. He smashed it. <laughs> I want you. I'll still send it. I want you. The rim, the rim, the rim. You're missing a bit of the rim. <laughs> I, I was pulling on him, so I did a little toe out, there so he go. can catch up. <laughs> you know, the worst is when you're driving like a pro car like this, that I remember at one time was clean, not that long ago. Yep. And then you're driving like the beautiful princess. I almost I almost tapped you over the that last yeah. one. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I, you guys uh, are sitting it. I think yeah. he can, he can uh, oh, yeah. work around it. Yeah. <laughs> one more time, and then you should probably head home. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, do one, let's do one more lap. Shit, so I'll, my I'll my thighs are shit, my ribs are shit. Yeah. Let's go. I'll, I'll follow you. Alright. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Dude, they're sizzling! Woo! Holy crap! So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Which carol did you hit? Oh, he smoked this one over here. See, right along oh, the bottom. Shit. That's awesome. Yeah, I came around and uh, I wanted to get a little closer. Got a little too close. <laughs> we just had these painted. I thought you moved. So you can tell when you tap something around here because everything's perfectly white. And uh, he ran it real good right along that bad boy. <laughs> I was watching him go out and I was like, it's slippery over there. And he floated out, tagged it, and like came Straightened in. And I was up. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was pretty Straightened up real good. Yeah, that was good though. He just cooked off the tires and it was like they were sizzling. <laughs> the sound of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What a great time on the block tonight. Fresh rubber, fresh K-Rail slams. <laughs> Dimitri, what? Dimitri's taillight. Dude! Oh! Dimitri, your hey, other taillight popped up. <laughs> We're looking for my piece of wheel. Now we found a piece of car. Taillight. That is awesome. It's we... funny because you pulled that out and you were like, the other one's going to fly out now. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. What an epic night again once on the block. We'll have to have a couple of your buddies come out. Yeah. And have, and have like a little throw down. A throw down of like a whole bunch. We can have our own little dare I say competition on the Oh! Block. It's definitely a possibility. I think so. Yeah. I ordered bleachers. By the he did, he did, he got bleachers coming. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Oh that's rad. And on top of that, Sean used to be a judge. Yes. So all the pressure's on Sean. <laughs> he's impartial for sure. Yeah, for sure he's, he's impartial. very impartial. Hey, Sean. Who pays you, Sean? Hey, we'll hey, Sean. find out how much the judge is getting paid. <laughs> right? Yeah. How they determine who wins. Yep. The grease, grease the palms yep. a little. <laughs> In the drift car. Dimitri is a badass. He's a badass. He's oh, like, God. Mike built it, it was perfect. I'm up. This thing it's up. so bro, it's crazy how fast they get in this small area we have. Oh. Wait, are they in third gear? Are they not they come in here? Moving, yes. Yeah. Look at this. You got an offer? You got the whole garage with you. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the rebuilt kit in there. That's rad. <laughs> you mind if I have a look? Ah, uh, it's messy, but go ahead. That's all right. Oh, it's one of the two car where you like to stack them up. Yeah, stacker. Yeah. Wow. The traveling circus, as they say. Race teams, racing in general, like having all this stuff, very expensive sport or hobby to be in. You gotta respect the guys who do this. It's a lot of money, a lot of time commitment, a lot of travel. You drive this thing everywhere? 
Pretty much, yeah. Holy crap, all over the country, hey? All over the country. I Damn! Used to with, my, uh, with my pusher, motorhome. Yeah. And then I sold it, now it's with the truck. Most of the time I travel with my family, wife and three kids. Oh, so. wow. Wife and three kids? Yeah. Three. Brother. Dude, his kids drift too. Yeah. And his oldest kid is 12, 13, 13 now? 13. Yeah. And he rips, dude. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. We were never settled. Family business, man. <laughs> Family business, I respect that. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Thanks for uh, swinging by and ripping it up and uh, we'll take care of your stuff until we all get together for the uh, LZ, LZ World. LZ World Tour. Tour. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is not what I wanted. Stop. Michael needs yeah, to, Michael needs to go home, but you tell me the stories. <laughs> story. Stories uh, can so go on I think forever. It was 2019 uh, coming from Road Atlanta. Yeah. I, I was pulling this with my uh, pusher diesel RV and I had a like cheap uh, hitch system on it. And um, it was bending like this. One of the guys looked at it, was like, dude, you're gonna lose this trailer. And I looked at it, like, probably will. So I went about a heavy duty uh, hitch, hooked it up, all good, driving back home overnight, four o'clock in the morning, crossing George Washington Bridge. Just paid the toll, and I'm like, oh, oh, and all of a sudden, my RV goes like, like a turbo kicked in. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Look on the screen, and usually I see my trailer on the screen. <laughs> There's nothing. And I'm about like 55, 60 miles an hour. I'm like, no way. I look in the side mirror, side view mirror. And I see my trailer, just sparks flying everywhere. The whole thing just ripped off and just skidding. I'm like, holy sh I freaking panic. I slow down, that thing passed me. The and trailer passed you? Trailer passed me because it's downhill and start traveling on its own. <laughs> it's traveling straight up, perfect line, catching up to a, a box truck. And I guess that box truck realized what happened. I see just takes off. <laughs> then it catches up to another, like a Fort uh, Taurus or something like that. And uh, that car like just moved and trailer goes this way. That car moves, this trailer goes this way. No! Yeah, we travel uh, all, of, uh, all the way across the bridge, start going into the tunnel. Uh, and there's a construction zone. Thank God no Hold one on, was the working. trailer was in the tunnel? So, well, under the bridge, yeah. Um, the <laughs> hey, jumping ahead of myself, the trailer traveled 2.2 miles on its own. What? Oh, God, oh. the hell up. <laughs> this one right here, this trailer. So guys, if you're looking for a trailer, we got a really nice trailer. It one drives owner, itself. Garage cap. Garage cap. Drives cap. itself. Grandmother cruise, cruise only control. drove it on the weekends <laughs> just to the market. That's it, it's like new. I didn't hit anything, it stopped. So uh, the left lane was blocked off with those sand barriers and uh, some K-rails. You ran right into it, slow down, but it's like almost got on two wheels, got into the second lane and just kept slowing, going down, going down, then start going up the hill. That's where it stopped. When it did that, um, it ripped the oil pan in my RV. So when I was chasing it, I saw oil light come on. I'm like, shit, I just gotta make it. Oh, so I kept going, I kept going. I went around the trailer, backed it in and like stopped right there. Shut off, there's the traffic backed up. A cop comes out from the exit. He sees the traffic, comes up. It's like, what happened? I'm like, my trailer just ripped off. He looks at him like, how did you stop it? Like, did you just stop it with your RV? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. slow down. <laughs> That's like, what I did. Yo, here's my light. Can you go stop the traffic? I'll go around you. And uh, he called the tow truck, told me off. Um, after I went to the bridge, parked the trailer, parked this thing, it was like five o'clock in the morning, called my boy, he's like, yo, grab my truck and start driving to George Washington Bridge, I'll explain you later what happened, just just bring me my truck. Holy. So while I was waiting him, I took the oil pan off, it was metal oil pan, uh, eight o'clock, there's some small shoot repair shops that opened up. It up. I, I went to the some Spanish people, and they didn't speak English at all, I'm like, can you weld this? He's like, yeah, 40 bucks. Welded the oil pan, I went back, put it on, nine o'clock, across the road, a uh, uh, parts store opened up, I bought some oil, Filled it up and drove it home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life on the road. Holy <laughs> no! With the fact that this drove for 2.2 miles on its own down a hill, just picture how big this is. Imagine nothing except for this white square box ripping down the road and accelerating at a speed that it could catch up and pass you at a freeway speed. Holy! Oh yeah. And it's still in one piece. Holy, that's, dude, that's all the damage? Basically, yeah. How? <laughs> How? The hitch system came off, it was still so on the hitch system. Underneath, yeah. And a little bit right here, you see this? It was maybe an inch longer, so the nice kid. <laughs> <laughs> so this steel plate was an inch longer and it grinded it, okay. ground it down by an inch? Yeah. Holy, <laughs> sh bro. Awesome. That is just. Dude, I've lost wheels on trailers, and that was sketchy enough. I can only imagine losing a whole trailer. Not just a regular trailer, Dude. a stacker trailer. That's oh, you crazy. Know what was in the trailer? Two a cars. Car. Uh, a car, 
40 wheels from Achilles that was left over, fully loaded on the top, and about uh, two or three um, 55 gallon uh, <laughs> drums of fuel. fuel. Yeah, <laughs> drums of fuel. <laughs> oh man! Kaboom! Damn! <laughs> Imagine that shit went off the bridge or something, dude. Oh, off the bridge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that, that would have been a yeah. bill. Holy crap! I would have just kept going, dude. <laughs> Without the oil. How nuts is that? Insane. Luck. Have you ever lost anything? Uh, two wives. <laughs> <laughs>